he's indeed a perfect storm of conservative Christianity and unbridled sexual energy, known for his belting sound and his sensual lyrics. Prince has always said the muse behind his music is his faith. Uh, so it's no wonder that he had an impact in the world of gospel music as well. Joining me right now is one of gospel's greatest and Prince's friend, B.B. Winans. What a great pleasure it is for you to be here. Good to see you. And to reflect on just really this powerful force. You had the pleasure of knowing him. Mm -hmm. And before we went on, I was telling right. you, I never met him, but I feel like you feel there's like a you connection know because yeah. I grew up with his music. And I, Tell I, me about the impact. That that to me is is the beauty of yeah. someone like Prince and Natalie Cole and, and, and others that we've lost. They leave us with this joy of, of music and music as a way of, of you know, we, we see our lives through their music, so you true. know. And it's a journey, isn't it's it? It's a journey, you know, and I, 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 you know, a big Prince fan, mm -hmm. had never met him, and, and one day I'm going to, into this building, and I saw this person walk away um, from the entrance. He had a powder blue suit on, and I said, that looked like Prince, but I kept on going. I look, and you know, <laughs> exactly right. right. He was, he was fashion, he, you know, and then I heard my name called, and <gasps> out comes the car, out of the car comes Prince, you oh know. Gosh. That right there said something to me about his character, that he would think enough to come out of his car instead of yeah. calling me to his, and just was yeah. so honest in what our music meant to him and, and how much he enjoyed us. And, you know, in return, it's like, you, you never know who's listening. So right then yeah. and there, um, it was a pleasure. And then a couple of times we had a chance to sit and talk. Just an incredible guy, you know. That's incredible, because there are so many musicians uh, musical artists who talk about he would want to talk about the craft. Yes. He would want to talk about, you know, the guitar. Mm -hmm. He would want, you know, in terms of a, a certain riff. I mean, very specific. So when you talk to him about music, how do you have a conversation about the music? Was it about, you know, writing music? Was it about performing? What, just give me a little taste of what that conversation specifically would be See, about between the two with, of you. with me and him, lyrics, being a songwriter, yeah. lyrics was very important. And so to tell a story was very important to him. And so he, he, was, he was such a prolific writer. So to sit and talk to him about what this song meant to him and why he did this and, and wasn't afraid of, of I heard so many people say, you know, he was a risk taker, and he was. You know, even though he had a hit with this, he didn't mind turning a corner mm -hmm. and going this direction because he felt he, he, he had the uh, ability, but beyond the ability, the responsibility to speak about things that other people wouldn't speak about. Oh, my gosh, so true. He, he really was breaking barriers he in did. terms of, I mean, for a lot of things. Listen, this was an artist who surrounded himself once he, you know, once we saw him in a public way sharing the stage, a lot of his musicians were women. Yeah, he was groundbreaking yeah. in that way yeah. in in involving um, musicians who did not necessarily represent kind of the cookie cutter, mm -hmm. right? Of, of rock, right, right. of of uh, pop music, etc. How else did you see him as being a? a a groundbreaker well, in other realms of music. I mean, we talk yeah, well, about the sexuality of music, yes. That too, but but way. for me and and for the artists, you know. <laughs> We cheered him on because it wasn't just for him. When he decided he was going to own his talent, yeah. he was going to own his okay. masters, and he was going to take, you know, authority of, of, of who he was. It wasn't just for him, but that it was, was for fight. us. It was yeah. a big fight, you know? And so we celebrate him in that because in, with him taking that lead, it broke down the doors for us. So mm -hmm. Prince was unselfish. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just about him. It was about all of us, you know, and so we appreciate that and we celebrate him, you know, this day and for the rest of our lives. We really do, and then we are all celebrating in so many different ways. I I'm a huge Prince fan. I have a mm -hmm. giant, you know, collection. I see you have I purple brought on. in, I have a purple on. I brought in <laughs> some of my CDs. This is just a tiny right. sample. We've got LPs at home. We've got cassette players because my first car had a cassette. And, and, and I have a, a number of favorites from, you know, uh, Doomy Baby and mm -hmm. Diamonds and Pearls. You have a favorite? I and have a... Do you have music that <laughs> your family would allow you to play? You, you know, my, my brother, Ronald, who we celebrate in, in the musical, and we, we celebrate Whitney as well yeah. in, in the musical we, we're just launching, but um, one of the things that my father would never allow anything other than gospel in, the, in our household, so my brother Ronald would change lyrics. 
And so one of the songs that he changed the lyrics to, <laughs> first thing that came to my mind was, we would sing, ladder rain, oh. ladder rain, yeah, ladder rain, ladder rain. Lord, we want you, need you, asking you to send your rain. So instead of uh -huh. purple rain, we sung ladder rain. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much for the one. Thank you. Thank you. And we want him to continue to send those blessings to his family and to all the world. You said it so perfectly. Thank you, love. Thank you. We're all shedding these purple tears. Can't yeah, stop. Yeah. He, Thank you. We will always carry him here. Thank you so much. We'll be <laughs> My right back. My pleasure. Appreciate Thank it, you, Bibi Winans. Great to see you. Always. Always.